Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Welcome to episode number 171 on how to make a dead front for your service panel. The first thing we do is we get dimensions. There's two little knockouts here. Actually, they're tongues, which the metal slides into. You want to go up at least right here, and then really down right to the bottom, which is 22 and 7 eighths, 6 and 3 sixteenths. We have measured the outline of the cuts, squared it off, and as you can see, we've clamped it down very well because this is going to need to be held down very tightly. You should always cut short end first, and then you cut the long end. So let's start with the short end. Please note that I wear protective gear because little sparks of slivers will come up and embed in your face. You won't even realize it. And if you score it deep enough, you can save yourself a little bit of time. We now have to deburr that. You can file to get any last second burrs off. Primary template is cut. Now when you measure this out, this will be the front side. You want to cut on the back side because there's going to be overcutting, and you want to hide it on the front. First we're going to measure the heights, inch and a half by three and three quarters, and this is what we came up with. So when we flip this over, those breakers are going to be right here, hopefully. As you can see, we have two of the four cutouts cut out. We finally got it all cut out. It seems to fit well enough, with the exception that there's nothing to anchor it to at the bottom because it got broke off. My solution to that is I cut a piece of angle iron and I'm going to mount that like so. And then once that's mounted, I can drill mount screws. I'm going to use self tappers in here so I can mount the plate and I'm going to cut that uh, right about uh, right about here to give plenty of room to anchor to that panel. As you can see we've got our mount plate backing mounted. This is completely done. We've got that drilled and pre-drilled. And if you see, that fits in there just so. And then we take our closure screw. And we have a, an effective dead front installed. I just finished cutting out the rough plate for the second dead front. This one's going to be quite a bit more complicated. But this one just goes up in like so, so we've got a nice fit. The first thing to do is to start measuring backwards. And we are coming over, uh, we're gonna call that an inch and three quarters. And since it's backwards, that'd be an inch and three quarters on this side. Here is a mirror image layout. So this is the back cutting edge so that you don't see the cut marks as well. So this distance is actually this distance and this distance is this distance. And then we had to add a little this lip here and I, I basically allowed for about an eighth of an inch of slop. And we're going to use a slightly different technique on this one as well. Since my tool broke, I'm going to use a drill bit, drill out a good portion of these knockouts. You can see the pilot holes, and we slip those in there. Everything seems to be fitting okay. That's going to be my final cutouts.
Now I can get a sawzall in there and then file down the rest. One thing I didn't notice when I was making this template is that there's a significant offset between this distance and this distance. So I put that offset in as you can see and once I put that in we have nearly a perfect fit. So after some pounding to flatten this out we put this underneath the holders and we find that it fits perfect. So all we have to do is drill a hole here to hold that down and we have our second dead front complete. As you can see we've got two dead fronts complete. We have this one which was done using a grinder which is quicker and a little more accurate. Unfortunately I went I burnt through two grinders made from China and on this one I used a method where I scored where the holes were going to be and I drilled out a series of holes, chiseled that to where I could get a sawzall in it, and then sawed out the holes and filed it out so it was square. And while not as pretty, you can see they were just as effective. They're put in there very accurately. And the only thing that needs to be is to have these uh, labeled, and I can't do that until the house is trimmed out. That concludes this episode on how to construct dead front panels out of raw sheet metal stock. Thanks for watching and have a great day.